Now let's look at another scenario. In the Todoist example, they are using the mobile form factor in a pretty intelligent way. They're compressing all of their columns into three columns and they're showing using tick marks, they're showing a long horizontal flow, which makes sense on the mobile device. But imagine a scenario where you have so much content in your comparison table that showing something vertically is not an option. You really still want to show it horizontally. Well, here's a great example from Amazon where they are comparing their different Kindle models. And you will see obviously there's too much information to compress. So what they've done is they've allowed the user to scroll left to right. They've designed in a pretty clever way where the Kindle that they want me to pay attention to, which is the second option, has been you know highlighted and there's a you know solid line on the top and below it. And that kind of makes the flow look nice. I mean, this has to be designed well for it to work. But it's a you know they're they're showing a lot of they're showing a lot of content in uh, in that table using the horizontal flow. I think this is a pretty good example. So this is also something one can consider.